Yeah. Can, um, can, you, can you talk about the work you do with the scientists? <clears throat> sure, there's a range of work. I and mean, it all depends on the scientists. Um, I've worked with a, a French group on the growth rate of crystals and algae. And I will not be a part of anything that stunts the growth of anything, even if it's a crystal. I don't want to stunt the growth. I'd only increase the growth. Um, but uh, different researchers are the head scientists from Skinwalker Ranch. I can now finally speak about. Um, those of you who don't know about Skinwalker Ranch, it's basically the premier paranormal location in the United States that the CIA and the Defense Intelligence Agency and a billionaire all purchased and got involved with to find out the secrets. And there's major stuff and has been major stuff going on there. And I've been working there, working with the head scientists there um, for, you know, almost two years. And, um, wow. Can, can, uh, can, can, you, can you say anything about what, what you've discovered? Uh, um, sure. Um, you know, we oftentimes, this is, there's a way to tie this whole subject together. And it's gonna take a moment to express it all, but um, basically the, there's something called the two slit experiment. And this is an experiment in physics. And basically to make a long story short, what it kind of proves is that human consciousness effects physical matter, and that our consciousness isn't separate from the universe, that our consciousness is literally woven into the universe. So consciousness has an ability to affect the surra our surroundings. And some people have more of an ability than others for a variety of reasons. Oftentimes at um, uh, hauntings, you'll find a distraught young woman or a distraught child. And uh, the way that I look at it is these are creations of the child. They're not separate ghosts or demons from hell or any of that stuff. These mm -hmm. are literal creations of the child. And there are other things that can be created by the mind. And uh, at Skinwalker Ranch, the different people who've gone there have had different experiences based on the type of person they were. If it was a military soldier, they would have a very militarized kind of hostile experience. If they were a you know, empathic, caring person, they'd have beautiful light shows um, or a, a neat swirl of nature. So, you know, ultimately, um, Jacques Vallée, who's one of the premier UFO investigators, and Eric Davis, one of the premier behind-the-scenes physicists, they came up with a model of our universe, of our reality, that states that somehow consciousness is more involved than we even think. They didn't take any further leaps. But I take that next big leap and say that there is this ability to do all these things. And the human mind can not only touch different places, it can build things. It can create illusions. And under the right circumstances, it can do some physical things that you that just would melt your reality. And it sounds too fanciful, but I've seen too much and I've been a part of too much. Um, I've been able to demonstrate the ability to affect machines at a distance. Um, I've been able to do that consistently. Um, and even when people pray, oftentimes some will say, would you pray for me? And you know, there's been tons of studies on the power of prayer and that is acting over a distance and the power of prayer does help people. There's no question it affects mm -hmm. people and it affects dramatically even. And that's psychokinesis right there, affecting something physical at a distance. And, you know, I think we're so, you know, we teach our kids about physical education as they grow up, but we don't give them consciousness education. Right. And exploring your consciousness, exploring your abilities, 
Um, and exploring this as a very legitimate subject. Now that you know, there's people who can repeat these phenomenal events, can do amazing things, and it's repeatable. It helps the scientific world because now they can say like, oh my gosh, this person can do it and can repeat it. Now we can try a bunch of experiments on it and see if it can go this way or it can go that way. So I've been experimenting everything from doing the crystals to um, remote viewing distant uh, celestial objects to um, military, uh, potential military threats to criminals to archaeological sites. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Missing kids, uh, all sorts of things. And it's just been such a fun and wonderful exploration. Yeah, I just pick up on a couple of points there, buddy, um, about um, about consciousness being able to affect physical reality. I mean, just using a couple of religious examples, um, our Creator said, "Let there be light," and there was light, and created everything within uh, you know in seven days. And as far as prayer is concerned, I always believe that you pray from a point that we've already got it, instead of asking for it. Mm -hmm. So prayer should be like putting your hand in the cookie jar and and taking it because it's already there. Absolutely. And you know what? You said a wonderful quote, let there be light. And there is this whole series of things. We kind of come up with a, a description of someone called a PK displayer. Remember how I described that girl and she created a haunting with effects? Mm -hmm. uh, if you take a human being who is a prodigious savant, there's a long reason, bunch of reasons why I'm naming these specific things. You take a person who's a prodigious savant, you put them under pressure, they have no spiritual release, and a couple of other factors, and they can display phenomena. And one of the first uncontrolled phenomena that a person can create is light balls. Now, there's a lot of famous cases throughout history. Um, imagine you are on a B-52 bomber on your last mission, World War II. You're in the ball turret, mm -hmm. one of the most grim of places to be. Tremendous amount of stress, tremendous amount of pressure, poof, Foo Fighters. Imagine you're a young girl, one of three sisters, and uh, you have a group of people that have come to see a religious experience that you've beckoned them to come see. Poof, Fatima and the dancing lights. You are a nuclear control operator with your key, your finger, literally, on the destruct button. Poof, Malmstrom nuclear launch sites. Mm -hmm. Repeatedly visited by UFOs. Uh, I could give you case after case just like that, and suddenly you start, you, it starts to click and make sense. It's very bizarre that this, this happens. And there's a big mystery in UFOs and phenomena. They have several things that match. With both UFOs and phenomena, the phenomena and the UFO event somehow follows experiencers home with different effects and phenomena. Second of all, it mirrors them, either physically copying their movement or it mirrors them like I was saying about Skinwalker. Mm -hmm. And then the third one is they're precognizant. The UFOs are somehow know where the fighter pilot's gonna go next, where's their next waypoint. And with the uh, events at Skinwalker, they kept and still through all these years, the phenomena was outsmarting them because it was precognizant. It knew what they were going to do. Right. Simple explanation. It follows you home because it's you. It mirrors you because it's you. Okay. All the different things that there are attributed is it's you. Now I'm not saying that all UFOs are created by the mind, but even Jacques Vallée and Eric Davis, and um, several others, Terence McKenna, some great minds have said there's a very good possibility that some of the solid craft even may be constructs of an intense 
mind. Mm -hmm. a, a lot of the contact experience that I've spoken uh, with, uh, the, the experiences um, talk about being able to, you know, produce a UFO at will. They, they can walk outside and suddenly there's a craft, they can see it, but no one else can. Yeah, and you can even have people who call them. Um, one of my memories, I didn't put all the pieces together. You know, it's taken me a while to put all the pieces together. But with my uh, fiance at the time, I was telling her she was in the passenger seat of the pickup truck. I was like, it'd be really cool to see like a, a light being or a plasma ball or an orb. And poof, right in front of us to a little bit up to the left was this incredible plasma that was moving and dancing and had sparkles on the inside i got the phone and i got video of it and it's on the site and you can zoom in and see um, so you know for so long there's been different events that i thought might have been external events but now i realize perhaps they were internal events